In a recent address to the nation, President Bola Tinubu highlighted the pressing economic challenges facing the country and outlined a series of policy measures aimed at addressing them. Emphasizing a commitment to long-term economic reforms, the president's speech resonated with many who found the policies mentioned to be a step in the right direction, offering hope for a better future. While the address was well received for its timeliness and positivity, there were calls for careful implementation and monitoring of the policies to ensure their success and effectiveness in tackling the economic challenges. Just like every other uh, government policy or measure that have been designed to turn things around, the problems have always been with the implementation, how timely and how well the policies and the measures are implemented. So this is something this administration will also have to look into. There should be monitoring for compliance, especially in the area of uh, our loans. Would be beneficiary of loans will have to be closely monitored to ensure that uh, whatever loan is disbursed will be used for the intended uh, purpose. In addition to that, sanctions must be meted out to defaulting or erring will be beneficiaries. These are the areas in which the government will have to look into to ensure that uh, the policies and the proposed measures achieve the intended or the desired uh, goals. Now the subsidies have gone, but the fuel, uh, this, the fuel subsidy tips remains. There are still the same people that are importing fuel into the country. So it will not be wrong if anybody assume that if they cannot scam the government again, they may go on to start scamming us. Like when the subsidy was initially removed, fuel sold for uh, 500 naira or thereabout. But shortly after that, the fuel has gone up to close to 700 naira now. So it means we should expect to still uh, see uh, more rise in the price of a fuel. So it's very pertinent that the government looks into how an end can be put into the importation of refined fuel. Well, of course, this is not going to be possible until our refineries are revived. All the plan they have on ground is, uh, is very interesting, it's good. Um, the only thing that the government needs to do is they need to, to ensure that uh, these things are well articulated and uh, they follow it up to ensure that it is properly managed and uh, people don't use it as a means of uh, uh, enriching themselves that has actually led to the removal of subsidy in the first place. There is a particular issue that I felt um, the, the, it's also very, very important. The government should actually be uh, uh, more articulated on that aspect. He mentioned it, but he only mentioned what he has actually uh, uh, commenced in that regard concerning the infrastructure development fund for the state. The government need to also still uh, 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 give us more uh, information and uh, be ready to develop our infrastructure because they'll be having uh, a lot of money, double of what they are earning before. So our infrastructure we uh, deficit is very, very important. Uh, they will go around the whole country. And I'm here in Lagos, look at some of these uh, federal uh, roads, bridges, all of them are in the bad shape. And government should actually uh, infrastructure as well. very, very important. 
the way they also speaks of agriculture, infrastructure should also be part of the importance and I felt it should also emphasize them. The president's comprehensive plan includes support for various sectors such as small and medium enterprises, education, infrastructure, manufacturing, healthcare, and agriculture, among others.